So I program radios. Sometimes I program a lot of radios. And I'm fortunate that this one has Bluetooth and I can program this via Bluetooth. But this Baofeng actually requires a special cable, which I kind of, I have this one here that could probably work with it. But sometimes I want to be able to program this wirelessly. The other thing is that I am almost exclusively a Mac user, okay? So I have a Mac that I use for all my video editing and other work. And the only time I really use Windows is for, uh, is for you know, work um, not related to YouTube. And um, my Shack PC, which is for the Flex. So TED Radio actually sent me one of these Bluetooth dongles to program and to check out with these Baofeng radios. So I thought I'd give it a spin and give you my thoughts of the whole system. So they did send this to me in order to do a review. And I'm going to give you my review of this unit without any, um, I know it's hard to believe bias, but I'm going to try to, to do the best I can with this. Okay, let's go. All right, so the first thing you notice is that this is your standard TID radio um, programmer with a Baofeng interface cable here, which is the same as Kenwood. I tested it. It doesn't work on the Kenwood. It is char rechargeable, and you have to charge it via USB-C, first of all, okay? And you plug that in, and basically what happens is it will give you a green light when it's fully charged. Then you turn it on with the side switch here, like this. Okay, let's turn on. I notice sometimes if you touch or you shake it, it'll flicker the little light. This is supposed to be an activity light. It's probably, you know, sensitive to, to, um, I guess, hum or whatever. So I plug it into this Baofeng here. Okay. Into Baofeng. Right. Now, one thing that TID Radio tells you is that you cannot charge the unit at the same time you're programming. Okay. And then I turn it on. All right. Now I'm going to do the app in a separate window so you can see basically what's going on. I'm going to have this here and I'm basically going to show you what the, um, so you download an app called OD Master, right? And OD Master is available from the Apple App Store. I have not, I do not have an Android, so I can't tell you if um, there is one for Android. This OD Master app seems like it's more than just a radio programming app. It's, it looks POC. I'm guessing that's some kind of IP radio. What they tell you is if you turn on the app, if you enter the app and you hear voices, which are presumably people talking, just press this mute button in the corner and they will go away. <laughs> okay. The sign-up process, and I'll show you the sign-up process. It's a little um, interesting. They uh, they want you to create a profile, and they want you to specify, among other things, you know whether you're male or female, and they want you to generally <laughs> sign up for things like you're signing up for Facebook. Okay, but all of that just to program a radio. I I really don't think that's necessary but it's their app and I hope they reconsider trying to force all of this, but it's, it's their thing. You select a model, right? I select here, this is a Baofeng uh, UV5G, which is a GMRS version. Now I'll show you something interesting about this GMRS version in a minute. Baofeng and I go UV5X, UV5G. Then you tap the read button um, and then, of course, you have to make sure connect Bluetooth first, okay? And it'll tell you uh, TID Radio Kit. You select that, UV5G, okay, Baofeng, read, okay? So it's reading from the radio, and here you can clearly see that the radio light is blinking, and the TID Radio is blinking, okay? Now here you have a bunch of channels. RXTX list, right? You can, um, you know, they have a bunch of um, RXTX lists, but let's go back to this programming, right? 
So that you could do you could do a full suite of programming with this. You have channels, right? So I could select one of these channels. What I don't like is that this is not in like a spreadsheet format or something that I could go and you know just change as I want to see fit. I have to go to each individual channel and do it you know like this. I really wish there was a way I could bulk edit, right? But it is what it is. You can actually save and then program multiple radios. So let's say I go to channel two. Uh, this is set up for GMRS. I can actually, let's set this up for a ham frequency, right? So let's do um, 446.000, right? And then it goes, um, you could do your tone squelch here, decode and encode, right? And then you can do your transmit power, low, high. And then um, you can do, uh, you know, you can do a, a bunch of different things, PTT ID, busy lock, etc. And you could change the name here. So let's call this uh, 70 centimeters, okay? Call. Right, and then I save, confirm. Now, um, I don't know if, if this is how it is, but um, it just kicked me back. So I guess I could probably program in multiple ones here. Let me program in this one. I program this 146.52. Let me program in two. Uh, let me program this in with. I don't know, 147.300, which is or actually a local repeater. I call this one uh, W2LV. Okay, save. Oops, I don't want to save. So once you hit save, it'll actually save the whole thing and then kick you back out. Okay, so let me see if it actually kept. Okay, so it did keep, right? So you could kind of bulk edit that way. You see, this this thing interferes with the whole button down there, so I didn't need to move this. Then I write, and it starts writing to the radio. And you can see the LEDs flashing. Okay, so this UV5G now, Actually, GMRS radio is now programmed with ham frequencies, right? And um, see, it's pro in with my ham frequencies here. Typical Baofeng fare. All right, so what do I think of this little tit radio? BL1. You know, I like the fact that this exists, okay? I really like the idea that I'm not tied to a PC. I can program my radios on the go with nothing but my iPhone, and I can pretty much have a Baofeng, able to program my Baofeng radio, you know, just really easily. I do wish that they one would allow some sort of spreadsheet update, right? I know Josh and Ham Radio Crash Course mentioned this, on his review of the unit, and I agree with him. I think that having a spreadsheet type of editing capability would amplify this to, you know, a really, really good, useful, very nice device. So I want them to improve on that software. The other thing I wish they would have is if they could divorce, kind of set, separate that IP radio from the programming capability, um, because, you know, I don't... I don't want to have to sign up for an account and set up with, with all this just to program my Belfing radios, too. And um, three, um, you know, just overall user friendliness of the app. You know, there's minor nitpicks. Overall, though, I think um, this is a worthy addition to Ria Shack. And I do think that, you know, I do have my stable of Belfing radios. And this will definitely come in handy because I don't always like to be tied to a Windows PC. And sometimes it just makes, you know, makes things a lot easier for me. If you do want one of these, I have a description in the link below. And um, you can pick up one yourself from TID Radio. And uh, they're, you know, they're generally pretty 
supportive and they're um they're very responsive so i'm hoping that in the future that they update this app to support this device the device itself the connectivity of the device is good it works well with the iphone and i see no problems on that front it's just the software needs a little bit of work all right well uh thank you for watching happy holidays merry christmas and join me for another installment of radio mess sometime later on i'm not sure when i'm posting the next videos schedule's been really crazy this christmas okay 73 peace and 73s